Welcome. Hi guys, Catcom here with Studio Sweat On Demand and I am with the lovely, beautiful registered dietitian in-house Miriam J. Hi guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna say your full last name. Yeah. Gonna want stalkers after you. Jadati. Jadati. No, no, it's not so that. we just Fancy. finished a really tough workout, so if we look sweaty and icky, that's that's so why. effective. Yeah. I think it looks amazing though when people it are means all sweaty. We, it means we worked. That's right, we did. What are we here to talk about today, Mir? I, I honestly don't know. I'm just your guest of the day. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you. To Studio Smash. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's calories, you guys. Calories. A lot, a lot, a lot is on this su subject, but we're just going to break it down super simple because I want you just to not be confused. I'm going to relax then. <laughs> yeah, sit back, sit right. back, have a cup of joe. Okay. Um, so first off, how do you, cal how do you calculate needs? How many calories do I need versus cat to maintain weight or to gain weight or to lose weight? So I how need do you more? How do you? Mm -hmm. I need hundreds of thousands more than you. Um, yeah, I would. Well, based <laughs> on height, based on yeah, based on height, and then because you're doing so many classes. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. I work out because <laughs> you work out. <laughs> so <laughs> let me tell you the big pie. The big pie of. Um, basically burning calories, keeping our weight maintained. So a big, big chunk of it is actually called BMR or RMR. So it's basal metabolic rate. So that is you at rest if you were laying down all day long and did not move. Uh, this is your, your calorie expenditure for- Just living. Just, for your organs to function, for respiratory action to happen. <laughs> There's sweat dri dripping down my back still. Sorry, it's gross. It's super sexy. Um, so, what is that typically? What, basically, you probably heard 1,200 calories is the general um, BMR for most people, and that's fairly true. You can, you can test this in a lab if you really want super accurate uh, results. Uh, with a breathing mask, um, someone taking your pulse, blah, blah, blah. Um, we don't have that handy, so we do a calculation. I'm not gonna get involved with the formulas online. There's calculators out there that you can use. Yeah, yeah. there's online. Um, the Harris-Benedict equation is for calorie needs, but we're not gonna get into that. So let's just assume everyone's BMR is about 1,200 calories. Then you go and you pump a bunch of weight, you do a lot of classes, you add muscle. So now the muscle is going to increase your BMR. So meaning per pound of muscle, it's very needy. It's like it burns 12 to 20 calories per day versus fat, a pound of fat burns about two calories per day. So it's very, very needy, which is great. That's what keeps you churning and burning. So if you add muscle to that, your BMR then increases by how much it's, that, it's very individual. It could be 200 to 300 extra calories per day. It could be all the way up to 500 extra calories based on your muscle mass. All right. That's a huge reason that guys need so many more calories than Correct. we need and can get to eat. Correct. Dang it, and drink. Bastards. <laughs> they also have, <laughs> they also have um, okay, so it's not only the muscle mass, they have human growth hormone and testosterone higher than we do as women. So they actually can keep muscle a lot easier than we can. That's why for women, oh, I'm so scared to get bulky and build a lot of muscles. It's freaking hard. So it's actually incredibly hard. It's yeah. a wives tale that yes, yeah. Miriam and I do obviously have more muscle mass, but not that much. But um, that's, Work that's from years and years and years of consistency, not, you know, uh, you know, a year or less you right. know, in the gym and right and this is every week yes you take two weeks off you're already atrophying so yep I, I mean two so weeks. it's it's every single week yeah we are at it <laughs> that's right um all right so then so we talked about the muscle mass right there is a male female i'm so glad you brought that up Thank difference you. Um, between calorie needs. So if you're going to eat dinner with your husband, boyfriend, friend, whatever, um, and you're women, and you're with a guy, and you're eating the same as he is, well, you're probably going- I do it all the time. You're, yeah, it dep so it depends. Uh, I'll, and I'll get to that too, okay, activity, okay. activity level. Okay. Um, you might be taking in t too many calories. 
Um, conversely, if the guy, maybe he needs more. Do you know what I mean? So try to eat really for yourself. Your hunger tells you, hey, I'm hungry. And when I'm hungry, I want to maintain my weight. When you eat further, like beyond that hunger level, that's you pushing into increased weight. So if you actually just ate based on hunger, you maintain the weight you are at now. You but for me, honestly, I sometimes when I'm really hungry, I don't even chew, I just swallow. Mm -hmm. Like even steak, I'm inhale. Like, mm -hmm. And inhale. yeah, I need to stop and I need to chew. I, like I'll tell myself, oh my gosh, stop and chew this food, damn it, cat. Right. You know, like seriously. Yeah. And, and then, and, and I eat more, like if I just slowed down, mm -hmm. I know that I would actually understand what my stomach was telling me right. better, you know, right. than if I inhale an entire plate of food. So eating slowly, I think is key to really that's grasping what you're saying about feeling your hunger though. Abs totally. And that, that's another vlog for another day. Um, yeah. Sorry. Like, no, no, but that is a great point. Um, cause not everyone has that, that capability yet. And you can harness that work. We can work on it later. Okay. Another thing about calories is, uh, so time, time of day. Oh, if I eat up my bulk in the morning versus night, I'm not going to gain weight. So your body is, it doesn't know that. It doesn't know, oh, I'm going to bed. Oh, I'm going to wake. We are, cause we are, we're actually burning quite a few calories at night when we're sleeping. That is when we recover, we have cell turnover, our organs are we're still alive. So we, <laughs> so, so that's, that's a lot of work for our bodies. Um, so when you go to bed, it's not like, oh, metabolic rate drops a ton. It's actually not true. Um, so it is in the whole day span, how many calories did you burn? Calories in, calories out. It's pretty simple. It's math. Yeah. It's really math. And um, you can eat to help your hunger out. So you might even sleep better sometimes if you eat before bed. Yeah, for you know, sure. Depends so, on what you eat, though. Yeah, absolutely. Another, another subject, sorry. That's another, right. Let's just keep going all day. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have um, So if you're like, no, I'm hungry at night, I want to eat at night. Eat at night. I eat at night, and then I'll go to bed. The problem is if you have too much fat, then it'll interrupt your REM cycle yeah. because the blood is saying, yeah. going to your gut um, and working a lot and then it has a hard time just relaxing. You have a hard time relaxing. So that's the only um, problem with like eating a lot of fat at night. Um, another thing I wanted to mention about calculating your calorie needs is just do a food journal and write, don't change anything. Do a food journal for two to three days. Get the average amount of calories that you are taking in. Calculate it. You can do my fitness pal. You can do old fashioned, write it down. And look, oh, okay, I'm getting 2,300 this day. I'm getting 1,500 this day. I'm getting 2,500 the other day. Average it out and go, okay, that's what I need to maintain my weight. And then go from there. Be like, well, I want to gain muscle. If you decrease your calories, you're gonna have a hard time doing that. If you want to lose weight, then just cut off 200 to 250 calories from, from your BMR. From that, yeah, exactly. And add in exercise. And then if you yeah. want to kick it up, yeah, absolutely. Oh, for sure. You'll you'll definitely fail at long-term weight loss if you don't have exercise with it. It's yeah. just it's science. Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. So that that's just the other thing I wanted to mention, um, really, with weight management. Um, of course, behavior comes into that. Maybe like 1% is hormones. Um, another is sleep. If you're not sleeping, that can interrupt weight loss. Um, I still want to vlog on that. Oh my God, mm -hmm. huge. Mm -hmm. You know who I'm talking to, those of you out there that do not sleep enough. Yeah. That was an attitude that I just yeah, that right was caught that, I felt it. Yeah, I felt it. So, <laughs> so, okay, so that, I just wanted to make it kind of clear and simple. Did I? Yeah. So basically you're saying, if I heard you right, you're saying, know what your base met metabolic rate is, okay? There's tons of calculators out there that you can use to figure out what that is. Mm -hmm. Food journal to see where you are, mm -hmm. okay? Um, you you do need to add your exercise into that. It, for example, the class that Miriam and I just took, we she burned a little over 600, mm -hmm. I burned about 600. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I would take that off, you know, if I kind of really want to know where I am for mm -hmm. my calories for the day because you take in burn and you take in, um, you know, your intake. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, 
So good. Slow, and then slow time down. of day of calories. Yeah, yeah, and it's a like, simple. Don't worry about it. Calories in and calories out. Yeah, yep. don't overcomplicate it. Right. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. I'll tell you, my calorie intake all is. I rarely go below 1,900. Me like, too. Rarely. Mm -hmm. If I do, then I'm probably not moving a lot during that day. Yep. So, and I've seen. I can't even tell you how many clients I've actually had increase their calories to lose weight because they're not eating enough and their body is like, oh, right. we're lost in the woods. I better preserve all this fat. Yes. So, thank you for bringing that up. If you go below, honestly, it's 1,500 for most bodies yeah. who are moving. Yeah. Um, yeah, your body, your body is going to have a hard time uh, actually losing weight. Learn, it, especially losing sustainable yep. weight loss. So. Exactly. Very cool. Miriam, you're Gosh. awesome. Thank you so much for joining. Go on. Thank you for letting me join you today. Oh my God. Thank you for coming to my studio. <laughs> All right, you guys. And if you're looking for those body sculpting, fat torching workouts, you know you got to visit Studio Sweat On Demand.